Hi there folks, my name is Neverwin24 and welcome to another Microsoft Flight Simulator product review and today we are having a look at what is probably my favorite GA airport release anytime in the recent past because this thing is just cool and today of course I am talking about the recently recently released OG31 Shady Cove Airport from Backwood Studios. So for those who uh, know me and know my channel, uh, you know that I am very much a have a very much a preference for flying GA, for flying sort of smaller aircraft, lighter aircraft into weird and wonderful and strange places. And one of the things that has always fascinated me about the US is the concept of an air park, with the fact that you know instead of you know people getting together to show off their cars, they all come together and place their homes next to an airstrip and be able to taxi their airplane out of the garage straight onto the airstrip. I absolutely love this concept. I really also wish that I had enough money to be able to afford to be able to have an airplane to be able to do such a thing, but that's a story for a different day. Anyway, uh, so this uh, is a recreation of Shady Cove Airport, which is a air park located in Oregon. Uh, it goes under the company, uh, the non-profit company name of Rogue Air Incorporated. Uh, and it is just so cool and so well done like this this concept absolutely fascinates me and I've seen a couple of these in the past in various flight simulators but this one for me absolutely takes the cake uh, I uh, this is I know this is a product review and you're probably getting a bit of a uh, heads up of what I think of it but absolutely I think this is fantastic I've, I've been able to have a look at this uh, pre-release um, and I'm getting a chance now to review it and show it off to the to you the aviation the virtual aviation public and I hope you get a chance to be able to see it as much and uh, enjoy it and see why I enjoy it as much as I do. Uh, so as we get started this review, I just do want to say a huge thank you to the team over at Orbix and at Backwood Studios for providing me with the review copy of this airport today. And we're going to be doing this uh, review. We're going to we're doing, having a little bit, a bit of an orbit view here, but I think that showing this airport off is uh, best done at ground level. So let's jump into a uh, a suitable vehicle because there's a couple of uh, vehicles that are very very suitable for doing things uh, like this. So let's jump into a suitable vehicle to go for a drive and have a look at this at uh, close up and personal. And of course, the vehicle that I am talking about is I am talking about Parallel 42's Juice Goose because I just love this thing. It's really great. I, for those, again, if you watch my review video of this one, it really shows off the capabilities of this simulator, that this simulator is so much more than just a flight simulator. But anyway, but this Parallel 42's Juice Goose does give us the opportunity to be able to check out the air park from the ground level and uh, show off some of its cool features. So uh, let's uh, get the Juice Juice fired up. Let's get the juice flowing. Our little uh, electric motor powers up. There we go. Okay. Parking brake off. I thought I'd turn the parking brake on before. Oh, well. Anyway. All right. Let's uh, go for a bit of a drive. So this is one of the first things that I want to show off here is that this is one of the starting locations. So a large number, of, a, a portion of the start locations that are available here at Shady Cove are actually inside their own hangars. I have always loved this when developers do this. Um, I, it's, I'm super excited to see that it's happening more and more with uh, newer airports being released, particularly GA airports, that it's nice to actually be able to have your aircraft start in the hangar that you would be doing, you'll be flying it out of in real life. So that is cool. Oh, okay, wrong control. There we go. That's the one I want. So we're going to go for a bit of a drive here. Um, there is so much sort of clutter and little little knickknacks and things that have been put into the um, uh, put into the scenery here. We're not going to make a comment about what the developer might be saying about Microsoft Flight Simulator by putting it on a porta potty, but uh, the, you know it's kind of cool seeing stuff like this here. All right. There we go. Okay. So. You've got a lot of accessible buildings here. You've got a quite, as I said before, you've got quite a number of the hangars are actually spawnable, so you can actually spawn your aircraft inside of it. Now, like all air parks, the idea is is that you have direct ac direct access to the runway, and 
this is it. Like, this is the runway. Like, literally, you spawn, you know, you start your aircraft in your hangar, you start it up, and you taxi out to flight line. So, you know, this captures the, the, the sense of it and also comparing it to the actual, you know, footage of, and, and imagery that I could find of uh, the air park itself. You know, this is available, and it is an accurate depiction of all the buildings. Most of the buildings uh, near near to the air side are custom uh, are custom built for this scenery pack we do have a various few little collections here you can see you know various ai can also join you here as well as some statics we've got a, the static dr we've got a um ai traffic parked here we've got a couple of st statics further up uh, parked along uh, various uh, parking spots here at the airport and uh, it just really just it just it just comes to life it really does i love seeing it and you've got to access to the airport not only from this side of the runway but you also have some of the uh, hangars and some of the more luxurious buildings here at the air park are located actually across the road and the team not only did they models you know the the affected buildings but they actually also remodeled the roads um around the area as well to actually blend seamlessly into the area so you get better quality roads better quality visuals in a number of the roads nearby because the roads also become taxiways for you. So we can see that uh, this fine uh, air park member uh, parks their Cessna 152 uh, just outside their house. There we go, we're gonna move it, we'll leave them alone. We'll have churned up their uh, driveway, uh, their taxiway enough. So you've got a, quite a number of different buildings scattered around and it it just the details are great they absolutely are fantastic you know you've got little uh, locks here here we go we've got another but another hangar that you can uh, spawn in here so if you're looking for a small a very different sort of small ga airport to be able to come and visit whether you want to like me you know would like the idea of uh, one day being able to do this in real life and in the meantime we can do this virtually you know you can have access to your own um air park experience with uh you know being the the wealthier parts of society having their own airplanes and being able to taxi directly out of their home out of their garage directly onto the tarmac and the runway and oops, a little bit of a spin out there you've got all the things that you would expect to see in an airport we obviously saw before with a pop-up there are a couple of fueling spots here there's plenty for the uh, frantic palm tree pilots as well because recently Shady Cove Airport actually received an upgrade uh, to the don't criticize my driving skills. You know, I know they're not great. Um, <laughs> so uh, Shady Cove Airport in real life actually recently received an upgrade uh, to support uh, helicopter operations uh, better uh, because uh, to support Mercy flights and Mercy missions. And if even if you're not necessarily sort of, you know, just here for the GA flying, this is actually also used as a base for the US Forestry Service for for uh, fighting forest fires here in Oregon. So if you're uh, into the role play, uh, perhaps even looking at uh, making use of the, the new uh, Miltech Simulation CH-47, uh, being able to fight some fires here in Oregon, this is actually a base that is used in real life and that you can explore and utilize as well. So there's a lot of really cool little features here. As I said, you know, we've got the parking, we've got some uh, AI, we've got some accessible parking spots. Yeah, everything is modelled in some pretty cool detail. Uh, and this is what I was talking about before, like coming onto the roadway here. So they've overlaid, the developers overlaid the sort of uh, photo reel. You know, this is sort of, you know, it's, it's got custom photo reel plus a bit of uh, enhanced of the defaults uh, from the default simulator. But they've enhanced the roadways uh, immediately surrounding the airport uh, so that when you're on approach and actually, uh, you know, you don't have sort of that sort of jarring sort of, you know, odd grey sort of film that many of the uh, many of the uh, air ro roadways sort of have is by default in the sim uh, but the roads leading to and around the airport have all been done with some upgraded textures so and they blend pretty seamlessly into the rest of the default scenery so 
the developers done a really good job of sort of giving us the opportunity to uh, not only experience the airport directly, but also if you're going to explore somewhere, you know, outside of the airport surrounds, by doing something like jumping into uh, the juice, uh, the juice goose, and actually going for a drive in the area, uh, you can do that as well, and it is a great experience for you to be able to see the other side of you know what's possible here in a Microsoft Flight Simulator. So as we uh, head back uh, onto the airport road here, we'll just sort of jump back along here, head back here as I said like the, the detail's been done pretty well like it's just and it still continues to support the default um, road traffic from the sim as well so it's not like they've added in these roads or over in the roads and then the simulators uh, living world can't use it they've made sure that the simulator's living world is still able to make use of this as well which is a really important part that funny enough i hadn't really thought too much about until seeing it here and it's like okay they've taken the extra care and effort to make sure that it is accessible and it is still in it, it does take the it keeps what's great about the sim while adding so much more to it as well we've got yeah we see down here somebody else being able to you know somebody else's um driveway or taxiway personal personal taxiway wouldn't that be so cool to be able to have a property uh with your own personal taxiway out onto a runway like that just seems like such a cool idea so the detail has been done really, really well, and I just absolutely love the experience. Just the, the concept of doing a uh, of, of of an air park for me is just so it's so bizarre and yes, yeah, so cool all at the same time. But uh, enough of this. Uh, well, we've had a good look at it uh, down at ground level now, so let's now jump into a, uh, a, a suitable aircraft to uh, do a uh, circuit or two around the airport, and we can have a look at it from altitude, and we get an experience of uh, the, uh, the this is that you'll get as if you use this as a base for operations here in the Pacific Northwest. Let me uh, head back to my hangar and uh, we'll swap out to a uh, appropriate aeroplane. All right, we've parked up our, uh, our ATV and now we've moved into the ATV of the skies, the Kit Fox, and I swear this is not a Parallel 42 ad. I swear it's not. It's just, it is a great aircraft to be able to do this kind of low, slow, low and slow flying in and to be able to check out something cool like this. So let's uh, start up our aircraft and uh, get ourselves going. So we're going to put our... Get our battery master on, avionics master on, fuel open, okay, A and B open, fuel pumps on, okay. Start power engaged, throttle cracked. Good start. All right, we are good to go. We'll taxi out onto the runway. Parking brake released. Brakes checked. I said, like, I just love when you can start in a in a hangar. Like, it's it's a small thing, but for a, a GA pilot like myself who who you know enjoys the this kind of sort of you know bush remote flying, this is I, I suppose it's akin to those who who much prefer for airliners. It's the whole you know going to the gate experience and have the gate uh, you know experience of you know seeing the gate connect to your aircraft. It's for me. It's about this kind of stuff, about flying to these little airstrips in the middle of nowhere and uh, engaging with them. And this airport, I feel, you know, obviously in real life, it was founded by a group of, uh, you know, like-minded aviators as a, as a private strip. And then uh, the community built up around it for to be able to share a shared passion for aviation. I feel like that this add-on can do the same thing for the virtual world as well. All right. And I love how they've also, you know, the runway's not straight, like it's straight-ish. 
um, which is just like it is in real life as well. Funnily enough, uh, it is not perfectly straight. Like you know, it is actually got this it got that slight bend in it. Okay, all right, we should be good. All right, nav lights on, strobes on, landing lights on. Okay. Throttling up. See if my tail dragger experience has uh, gotten worse recently, which it kind of looks like it has. Not as bad as I thought it had. This is good. So when you take off from this airport, like it is, you just got this beautiful Oregon scenery around you of uh, the mountains, and it is sort of nestled on the top of a, a little plateau. And you get this it's, it makes an absolutely beautiful stopping point if you're sort of heading in and exploring along the Pacific coast of the US. And this part of the world is incredibly beautiful to explore. And uh, it, it's something that I know there are, you know, I'm very well aware that there are uh, lots of beautiful places uh, all over the world. But Pacific Northwest is uh, for, you know, given that our flight sim community is very, is fairly heavily uh, US centric. Um, there is a, a lot of good quality content that is released for this area and it absolutely shows. So we're just sort of uh, doing a circuit here around the airport. You can see, you know, as I said, like all, all those uh, buildings sort of close to the airport on the immediate airport perimeter, they are all custom models, custom setup, custom layouts. The ones further back are a bit of a mixture. Some are custom, some are repurposed default ones, but they all fit in with the actual scenery as it appears from satellite like imagery that I was che that I was checking out. You also get a, a a sense of the connections of those roads. You have actually you know redone the roads sort of over there. It's a bit clearer from the other side. But even on the dirt roads there, like as I said, like the there is traffic that is able to utilise the access road, uh, which is Rogue Rogue Air Drive. Uh, according to that, you can see the the AI uh, the AI. Uh, car making its way along there but they're not using the default sort of textures for the roads or you know it's and it hides that uh, disgusting sort of you know clearish you know, grayish overlay there but it still makes it usable so you just get this great it's just like such a great little airport it really really is and a great place to visit so I wanted to uh, say that it's it's a fairly yeah on one level it's a fairly small scenery but on another it, there's a lot of detail that's gone into that scenery to be able to bring it to life so there's there's not a huge number of gates or anything silly like that, but there is life at this airport and it makes an absolutely fantastic place. Uh, if you're looking at, you know, looking at flying somewhere different, looking at having that experience of what it would be like to be able to start your airplane up, uh, you know, walk out of, walk out of your front door, step into your airplane and, and you know, jump straight onto the, uh, onto the runway to be able to take off and head somewhere. This is a great experience. I also think, as I was saying before, like, I think that this airport is also a great airport and a great idea to be able to foster that shared idea of uh, enjoying things together. And funnily enough, as I think about that, I think this is one of Parallel 42's ideas as well. And I'm glad that uh, Backward Studios is sort of, you know, is, is sort of, you know, is lever leveraging off that idea of going, you know what, you know, Flight Sim is about building communities, it's about doing things together. So I think one of the fantastic things about this is to be able to, uh, to be able to set it up. I'm going to cut power, drop some flaps, we're going to come in for a landing. Uh, you yeah, know, this would be a great airport to be able to, you know, grab some friends and have a bit of a fly in here because, you know, that's what this is all about. They've, they've made sure that the tree heights are correct on the approaches at both ends. So uh, no more, uh, no more need for Lumberjack and Microsoft Tree, uh, Microsoft, uh, Microsoft, Microsoft Flight Simulator tree cutting. Okay, coming in. Go. You can see that the airports, you know, come to life. You know, we've got a bit of construction going on there. As I said, you know, we've got the 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 
wealthier members of the Aero Club sort of on the other side there. You've got your standard GA hangers uh, at the airport as well. We've got a, a few of those here. And um, we're going to park up by one of the houses here because I... Because this this airport, you know, although it is primarily a day VFR airport, you know, you know, given what it is, that doesn't stop this scenery. That doesn't stop this scenery. This scenery has more to show. So let's park up, uh, maybe crack open, uh, crack open a couple of cold ones, and uh, wait for the sun to go down, shall we? So at night, the airport comes alive in a different way. Because this is a residential community, it shows that it's a residential community. You actually have sort of the backyard gardens are all illuminated. Um, there's illuminated fountains. You can actually see this airport come to life in its other side, which is people's homes. And... I just think that that is such a cool, neat little detail and a neat little thing to add in because so many of the airport add-ons, especially, okay, let's think about it. The, yeah, the larger airports, okay, they're sterile kind of environments. Like, they are what they are. Whereas this is more than just a way for people to get from point A to point B. Like, this is literally a lifestyle. So it's so cool to actually see the the home come to life with this airport with you know the driveways being illuminated the backyards being illuminated and the little flickers of lights and content coming through here and everything being illuminated so i think that this is just such a wonderful way to be actually be able to sort of model this and just add such an immersive experience to this i really really love it and it's it's not at the cost of anything else. Like, you know, the ground poly is still, is, is good. The photo reel is a good, um, it's a good clean set of photo reel that's been cleaned up. It's based on the, the ortho imagery that's available and then manually cleaned up. We've got all the little add-ons and little detritus that surrounds the airport to bring it to life. And little things like this, this would just be a perfect place to be able to grab a few friends, meet up after a long day of flying through the Pacific Northwest, kick back, and again, I swear this is not a Parallel 42 ad, but you know, come in, grab Parallel 42's camp out, throw out a, uh, a fire pit, grab open a couple of cold ones, and cook some steaks on the barbecue. I think that this is just a great airport to be able to do that. I really, really do. Like, it's just... It goes. It shows that you can add all these cool details without sacrificing what makes the airport the airport and the surrounding areas come to life. So, final thoughts on OG31 Shady Cove Airport for Microsoft Flight Simulator from the team over at Backwoods Studios. Look, this is a fantastic add-on. It absolutely is. Like, it is a small GA airport that is full of so much life and gives you... It's got so much... It's just got so much life in it. It's got so many details in it. it I, ironically, the only thing that I feel is somehow missing is that this is like a, a home area that, you know, that you know, it, is, it is an air park. So these are people's homes that back onto airports, which is just a cool thing in general and a great way to see this and a great to see this re given a rendition in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, the ironic thing is the only thing I feel that's missing from this add-on is the lack of people. Um, you know, we've got the, the garden scene, we've got the gardens that come to life, we've got fountains, we've got horses that uh, are there in their, uh, in their enclosures. You've got live traffic, you've got the hangars that you can start in. I feel you've got playgrounds. I feel like the, the, every, everything is here. The only piece that's missing and the only criticism that I really have is the fact that it doesn't have any animated people people models and i mean i've got i'm reaching pretty hard to be able to find something wrong with this scenery i really am the performance is absolutely immaculate like it is smooth as silk there are no issues at all uh the 
detailing and the textures, uh, the modeling is done in fantastically well. It brings to life the concept and the idea of someone, you know, of the, the, the wealthy being able to have and the, the dream, definitely a dream of mine to be able to have my own airplane and to be able to just taxi it out of the house and be able to fly off into the wild blue yonder. It, it gives us an opportunity for, to fulfill that dream, and I think that is absolutely fantastic. And I love this airport. I think it's a great add-on. I think it is a great community builder, uh, and I think it is a great opportunity for, uh, for for flying clubs or for groups that want to uh, that enjoy this kind of bush flying. This would be a great destination starting point or destination uh, airport to be able to go to, to be able to uh, sort of round out your flights and uh, enjoy some time and kick back and relax with uh, as i said with a couple of cold ones and uh and shoot the shit on the tarmac so yeah i, I think this is a fantastic add-on highly recommended from me is it going to be for everybody absolutely not uh particularly if you're not into this kind of flying um it is not going to be an airport for you but if you enjoy ga bush trips if you enjoy finding and discovering different slices of life if you just want to see how the other half lives as i suppose uh, as the old saying goes then this is an airport add-on that i think that you will not be disappointed in i think you will not be disappointed in so uh congratulations to the team at backward studios i'm absolutely loving it so uh this is available now uh from orbix direct available for seven us dollars or regional equivalent available now and uh, i do want to say a huge shout out and a huge thank you once once again, to Backward Studios and to the team over at Orbix for providing me with the re- review copy to bring to you today. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget, as always, to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed these videos and want to see more. And, of course, as always, you can catch up with me and all the things I'm up to between videos by following me on Facebook and on Twitter and on Twitch. Just search NoVoing24. All right, folks, thanks very much for watching. Take care, safe skies to all, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.